So uh, thanks uh, for the opportunity to be here. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, demonstrations that we'll be doing for supercomputing week after next. Um, we have a large-scale international open flow based um, consortium that is creating some new technologies and architectures. Um, we have um, people in uh, four different countries uh, working on this. Uh, just to give you a little context, uh, one of the key ideas is that um, Genie is a distributed instrument for network research. However, there's uh, some of us in the Genie community that believe it's more than that. It is actually the way networks will look in the future. So not just an instrument, but actually the way uh, networks will be uh, used, operated. And as part of that, we want people to uh, be able to create networks uh, customized to their own particular uh, usage. So individualized types of networks. So what are programmable networks? Um, they're networks that allow you as an individual or as an application to create new services ad hocly, uh, instantaneously. So uh, legacy networking uh, defines services uh, over a very long period of time and implements them. Uh, so you know some projects are oriented to helping networks uh, be better and uh, provide new protocols and new capabilities. However, uh, Genie provides an opportunity to get beyond that, to not think about improving carrier networks, but to create completely different types of networks and services. Uh, so uh, advanced means uh, dynamic versus static, highly customizable, including at the edge, including at the individual, uh, having higher level of abstractions, including sophisticated APIs, and um, basically having all elements, resources, uh, encapsulated as software objects. So there's a lot of different uh, uh, architectures, technologies available even from outside the Genie community that can be leveraged within the Genie community. And therefore, you can use these techniques to basically create, uh, we do a lot of work in private networks. We have a large exchange that has dozens of private networks. So it's not too much of a leap to think about personal global networks. We have, uh, we work with a variety of uh, investigators uh, who have their own customized 10 gig national networks, some of them with international extensions. So in the same way that there was, was a mainframe, you can think about a personal network, personal computers, personal networks smartphones versus personal computers, a progression to the next individualistic type of technologies. Um, we're co-founders of something called the Global Lambda Integrated Facility. This is a distributed fabric, which is up and running today. With, this is not a network, but it's a distributed fabric within which people are creating private networks and many, many test beds. And the test bed I'm going to show is one of those running on this fabric. Um, another one I'll mention is just one of many test beds. It's called the uh, HPDM Net, the High Performance Digital Media Network. This is an ad hoc network governed by the edge, governed by individuals uh, to create uh, customized ad hoc networks to support uh, high definition digital media, 100% at layer one, layer two, and it's a global fabric. Uh, we're working uh, with the Genie community to have a persistent programmable fabric, and this is uh, some of the work that we've done with our colleagues in Genie. And more recently, we have been uh, developing this international uh, open flow based uh, fabric uh, with uh, uh, colleagues in a variety of different countries. Now, for the demo itself, uh, we were asked to provide a architectural stack, which I'm going to provide here. And, uh, but I would like to get right to the demo. Uh, we're going to show you a client as part of the um, personalization. Uh, a client has been developed to allow individual uh, discovery of resources across very large fabrics that can be directly controlled. 
and by directly I mean you don't necessarily need middleware or flow visor, you can go right to the core elements and directly uh, uh, customize them and that's going to be shown as part of this demo. So again, the object is highly programmable networks, highly customizable with high level APIs um, where you have an extensible programming environment and uh, any resources can be integrated and all resources are abstracted. This is what we're showing as uh, part of this at uh, supercomputing. Uh, the different colors of the boxes are different uh, experiments. Uh, we only have time to show one of these. Uh, and uh, each uh, of the experiments is a different type of additional capability that is built on top of OpenFlow. Everything from um, uh, topology discovery and provisioning uh, to um, the uh, uh, monitoring and um, um, analytics on uh, individual paths. And with that, I'm going to turn things over to Jim, who's going to show a little bit of this. Uh, let me explain a little bit. The three demonstrations we are uh, having is uh, one uh, lead by eye care, and uh, it's uh, primary is a program, uh, programmability of the individual, uh, personalized in the individual network. The second one is a lead by Sarah in Netherlands, and uh, primarily they, in, uh, uh, they implement the 802.1 AG uh, for interdomain monitoring. So the third one is a lead by uh, NCHC Taiwan, which is a national supercomputer center in Taiwan. And uh, what they uh, accomplish is use the LLDP, which is a standard in layer two, and uh, use that for interdomain uh, uh, topology uh, discovery. So the, what you will see is uh, since uh, no guarantee of a demonstration network can come up, uh, especially when using uh, uh, wireless, so I did some uh, screen capture. So I go through the, the motion, how this works first. Then we'll try to go live, see how, we, how far we can go. So on, the, on my right hand side, what you see is uh, a standard open flow uh, device and uh, being modified can take uh, LLDP. And what you see there is uh, three different domains and across the do different domain and the link in between is indicated by the arrows. So what you see on the right hand side is our uh, individualized uh, controller or uh, the ba basic appliance you can, what you can do with it is you can program the VLAN, you can pro program the flow and uh, you can actually do some layer two uh, testing uh, on the same interface. So what you see here is uh, I go into VLAN, I tell it to show my VLAN, and uh, hold on, let me see. The next one is, I tell it, say, I want to delete one. Okay. Then it's gone, it showed, display it. You see the color changes, because uh, it refreshes as you reload it, so it's a random assigned color. But what you need to notice is uh, there's a MAC address there, there's a the switch while manipulating. So now I tell it to add it back. Okay, basically report is back, back in there. Uh, since this uh, uh, controller can point to a different individual device, uh, right now we point to an OpenFlow uh, Pronto switch. So integrated to allow people to use it and uh, uh, two, different, two different tools you can use it together. So that's, that, that's one of our demonstration. The other, uh, I think I'm out of time. So I just want to show you one, one display. This one actually is live. It's uh, AO21 AG. We set up to monitor the link. And the back end is uh, persona data and feed into the display. So what you see here is uh, the live. I think uh, you can see here the clock supposed ticking. It's pretty, pretty slow, so you don't see a jump. But uh, 
the network to the show floor is not there yet. So it can do all the monitoring for the uh, AO2.1 AG. So this is probably 20 different kind. Right now we just look, look at link. That's it. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Joe.